All right, so last video I show you the breakdown. So this video I'm going to start right at the this uh, green color section here. So as you can see, I want to have a 100% at the middle here, and then I want the gradient to go 0% and then stop somewhere around there. Okay, so I'll open up my layers and go to this this one. I'll just create a new layer, and then I'll use my soft round brush, the default round brush. Okay, I cl close off my draw over, and then I'll when I'm holding using the brush, right? I hold down alternate. I can color pick, alternate, 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 and then left click. I can color pick. So I'll just color pick one of these colors. Um, just show you this uh, diagram over here. Uh, so this is some of the very important shortcuts I will use la. and then some of this I actually have to set it So I'll show you how to set it in another video, but just take note for now You hold down alternate to pick color when using the brush So when you are in the brush mode, right, and you hold down alternate, you can pick any colors from your reference And then I'm also going to use the brush size Minus and brush on your keyboard. So I'm showing you on your keyboard. Uh, we have two hands uh, So we our left hand has to be actively using all these shortcuts uh. So um, if you are on the computer, you're trying to learn don't just use one hand to try to draw uh, You think of uh, a pianist that is uh, very famous in the world There's no pianist that play with a single hand right not that I know of so the pianist will play with both hands So it's the same applies to you you have two hands so make sure you're using both hands uh, when you are doing digital painting, it's very important that you are using all these shortcuts and know where you're pressing. So if you want to try to be lazy, then uh, you're not giving it your all and your full potential. Okay, so left hand, if you don't know where to put, you can always put at these two uh, brush size over here. It's always uh, very cool, very important to change up and down the brush size and uh, to press uh, alternate as well. So you can just color pick any colors, so very important. So I'm, I'm using a brush, so I'm on brush mode B. Okay, and then uh, as I mentioned before, the upper bracket, oh, this upper bracket here, I will increase the brush size. Lower bracket here, I'll change the smaller brush size. So I can increase bigger brush size, smaller brush size, bigger brush size, smaller brush size. Okay, if I want to go one step further, just slightly more advanced, I press shift together with uh, plus. Oh, so I can actually change this brush. So look at my uh, brush down over here. So if I hold down shift and plus, right, it becomes harder. If I hold down shift and small bracket, it will become soft. So this is how I can change my brush, um, any brush to uh, become a bit harder or softer. So this is a nice shortcut for me. Okay, but if you don't know, just use change the draw size big, change the draw size small. It's very, very useful. Okay, so I just want to have a big, big drop brush size and a very, very soft edges, 1005, something like that. And again, I can just tap a few times. So I tap about three times and then I get this result. So it's pretty good. But probably uh, I want here to be a bit darker. So I want to make this a bit smaller so I can actually scale down the size a little bit. Or I can just do it again. Okay. Uh, by the way, this uh background layer, this uh this main layer, right? I always paint like this, so I will just call this my main silhouette. And my main silhouette always have to fill up the whole thing, so you can see the main silhouette of the ball has everything filled up. So I create another layer. So I repeat again. So I use the draw size just now, probably a bit big just now. I'll use. 1002 this time. So I'll just tap a few times. One, two, three. Oh, and then I get the soft result. Lah. So I have this uh this uh, center part of the painting and then I have this nice gradient going to the side. Okay, so very nice. And then what I'm gonna do is uh this is maybe I'll call this uh call this how to call main light. In between these two layers, between the main silhouette and the main light, I'll just hold alternate. Careful and uh, make sure you're really in between these two layers. Hold down alternate to get this drop down here. So this is called a clipping mask. So I'll clip my painting on top to the bottom. 
Oh, clipping mask. Clip the painting on top to the bottom. So it's, this is very useful because um, now whatever I paint on top, it will not go to the bottom. So for example, if I have to uh, paint, a, paint a green light running across like this, if I want to paint a green light running across like this, uh, it's very troublesome if I want to get this to be really precise right on this black ball here. I have to be really slow and precise as you can see to erase this nicely. So there's so the way we do I do it just now is what I shown you, which is just apply a clipping mask. So if I go down this layer again, I press alternate, you see this icon change. This is called clipping mask. So I just alternate left click, you clip. To the bottom layer so you see how i did a clipping mask to this bottom layer which is the main silhouette so the main silhouette will always control the main silhouette of my painting and then uh, i but the whatever layers i put on top of it will just contain my painting and then it will not run off the edges so that's why a lot of pain, paintings or digital painting you see is kind of clean um if you know how to do it properly it should be um quite straightforward uh, and the, also depending on your use but in this case we are doing a ball so it definitely works to have something clean and just to have a main silhouette like this and it's useful oh. so one thing to take note the main silhouette please make sure it's 100 percent oh. don't don't so when you're painting the main silhouette from the previous video i hope you didn't like use a very soft soft uh, black brush or something then so your main silhouette end up a bit soft and then maybe worse is there's there's a different opacity. So for example, if I show you there's a different opacity, so your ball may be something like this, and then it won't work because it's kind of soft on the edges. So your silhouette is too soft. You will not. It will, does not help you to achieve a marquee, like a nice polished ball like this in our reference. Oh. or if there's a hole in between. That you didn't see so i'm exaggerating this hole here so this is what you want to watch out for on your main silhouette of the ball and uh yep so i have the back to this i have this main light here and uh, if i want to improve it a bit i can use my eraser brush oh, so i'm just eyeballing this part here then i want to softly erase it so probably i use my eraser of uh 50 percent i'll just okay as i mentioned 50 percent opacity and i'll just make the brush size even softer and i'll just erase it a bit more Just keep it very subtle. You can see just now I undo quite a few times. Um hope you don't mind. But you can also just uh do a nice nice soft brush just now and then you don't need to do this too many times. Okay, so I think I'm happy with this. Then uh, you can go back and top up the painting a little bit more. Then, uh, see, I'm always using very big brushes. So the only thing I don't want you to do is for this exercise, you probably start off with too small a brush, and then that's not gonna help you. If you not, if you're using a very small brush size, right, you really make your job more difficult because you can see there's a lot of gradients, and then a big brush stroke is going really gonna help you with this uh, exercise here and I just want you to know that okay so and obviously there's a lot of different ways to paint I'm trying to break down the steps to be a bit more uh, lesser steps and hopefully a bit easier for everyone and then I I'll see you in the next video all right bye